what's up guys it's tragedy with another video today I'm gonna show you how I do a launch site run with no red card if I don't have a red card this is not the glitch that will get you inside of the red card puzzle area this is just a launch site run to show you what you can get from launch site without actually having a red card so first thing what you're gonna need is well first let's start off uh, yeah let's start off with what you need you need something to bust some barrels open I've got uh, six bandages and then a syringe and then just a weapon you know just in case we run into somebody this is a pretty minimal like setup you don't need a lot to do this run you really and obviously you need radiation protection that's really all you need if you just want to come with just a hazmat I've done that multiple times but you know it's a good idea to bring a gun some kind of defense and then if you want to bring some food as well because you are going to take a little bit of damage on this first part then uh, that'd be a good idea as well but to start off when you've got launch site oriented this way where that long piece is on the bottom and then uh, that piece is uh, horizontal like this this is where you're gonna be in this in this top right corner where this tower is this is where you're gonna come first this little like I don't know what this is like construction crane tower okay and uh, man I just saw that someone blew up Bradley that's not good but we're still gonna go ahead and try this run live anyways so first thing you want to do is come over here take the elevator up <clears throat> and guys it looks like somebody has been here so I'm still gonna run through and show you all of the crate locations even if some crates aren't here alright so we're at the top let's bust open the barrels <laughs> I'm not going to be like certain things I'm just going to throw away so I can have room. Okay, nice. We get a military crate. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky, guys. If some of you guys aren't experienced, this is nerve wracking. But you go to the edge of this. Sorry, I thought I saw something. You go to the edge of this, and then you essentially you have to jump to get down. That's where you're going to take the damage. Um, you can just like creep up to the edge and fall without jumping, and I believe you won't actually take any damage at all, but I'm always safe with it. I make sure I jump so I can clear that ledge. That's just me. So we'll get these all the way down. Like, look at this one. Ooh, that was close. Alright. Mm, blueprint, no thanks. Ah, why is it not picking this up faster? Okay. Okay, so then, after we have, uh, might as well take the safe way, after we have ran through this tower, I'm going to show you the route that you want to go. So after you get down from the tower, you want to... head towards that the main red card building of launch site <clears throat> but then you just want to dip down right here in this little Mariana trench of death because we're gonna cross over to where if you guys are familiar with launch site we're gonna cross over to um, where the green card is Thank you. 
quite a lot of barrels you know if you're in a rush or you or uh, you just don't care about it you can skip the barrels and just go for crates because there's quite a bit of, of crates in this run as well which you'll see okay so now once you've made it through this trench you'll come across you'll come up watch out for Bradley if you remember at the beginning of this video we saw that he had already met his demise but normally he's out here prowling around and this is the time you really want to be careful because uh, besides other players this is the most dangerous part um, of the run right here because you have to run across this open field and, and make sure Bradley's not around okay we're in all right so first building uh, I didn't mean to get that first building you're gonna come up right here on the right there's gonna be a crate and then you're gonna want to go inside and there's usually a crate that will spawn up here that I don't see which kind of sucks because it makes me feel like somebody has went ahead of us and snagged some of these but normally a crate will spawn a military crate will spawn right here on top of this green thing okay next yeah there's Bradley there's old Bradley toast okay so um, sometimes a crate will spawn right here mm, should I make this noise and bust these open do it for the tutorial pick this up okay then you'll have two crates spawn here one will spawn right here and one will spawn up on top of this You'll have a crate spawn in this corner right here you'll have a you want to head back this way you'll have a crate spawn right beside this car oh nice you'll have a crate spawn on top of this green card in this room which it's not there I believe sometimes this is a military crate up here okay we'll head back down the next crate we're gonna be looking for is gonna be up here on the right actually hold on I think there's a crate that spawns in this trailer. Okay, I feel like there used to be a crate that spawned in this trailer. Honestly, guys, on my normal run, I don't even check this trailer. So, I just, I thought uh, a long time ago a crate did spawn there. But right there in the truck, straight ahead. Like when I was saying up here to the right, this is what I was talking about. A crate spawns here. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead we're already doing it so okay then you want to head this way a crate spawns right up here next to this box straight in front of me 100% <clears throat> a crate spawns here it is not here right now and then you want to check these two like little offices crates will spawn in the bottom and top floors of both but not I don't think they will at the same time, so that's why you want to check them both. A crate will spawn there. Let's get this. A guitar, nice. And a crate will spawn here. Nice. So there is one here. Let's dump the guitar. Okay. Now also, a 
crate will spawn in this one right there on the bottom or the top those aren't there either it's weird man how if someone is doing this run they only grab certain crates and skip certain crates but anyways so then you want to come out and go around the back side of launch site it's the safest way especially when Bradley is out prowling around this is the route I always take see um, my radiation poisoning right there even though I have the hazmat suits because of that building when you get too close to that building doesn't matter what you're wearing you're gonna get radiation poisoning so kinda loop out when you're going past it so you don't get any damage okay it looks like somebody's already done this run cuz I'm not seeing a crate up there but first thing you go to the card room okay if I can jump if I can jump okay now a crate will spawn here then you're gonna wanna go in the vent and there's gonna be a crate that will spawn as soon as we go through this vent keep sh just go straight don't make any like turns even though it curves like follow it is what I'm saying there'll be a crate right here to the left that spawns right here then we're gonna go up the stairs and at the end of the stairs there's a room right across the hallway right here and there's a crate in here to the left then you're gonna want to check this room to the right there's a crate at the end of it this one has a chance to be a military crate sometimes then you're gonna want to go outside out on the balcony and there's a crate under here this one also has a chance to be a military crate okay then you're gonna want to make this jump to here and there's a crate that spawns on top of this blue trailer right here it is gone right here okay hop off the trailer head to this tower this tower actually has a chance of spawning two crates in the top so we'll go up here and see what's what's up okay so there's one and then sorry about that once you come out to the bottom of this tower you're gonna want to go left and there's a crate that spawns right here then you're gonna, gonna want to go back to this silo climb it little tip if you jump while you're on the ladder you'll zoom up it faster careful get up on this ledge and jump to this platform and then check right underneath and here's a crate which also has a chance to be a military crate then you want to go around here crouch under this we're almost done guys there's only a couple more crates and walk across this bridge walk right here crate right here on this balcony and then inside there's a crate that spawns right here and then you want to jump off onto this ledge check underneath here and there's a crate in this room then the last crate is going to be right around this corner this was a 100 percent always a military crate and it spawns in this cage right here nice so that's it um, and then we're gonna end close to the tower depending on where you come into uh, launch site you know just make your quickest exit but um, that's the video guys uh, I try to do this run like probably once every hour and you'll see we got some decent decent loot I mean 157 scrap it didn't take that long uh, 
uh, some other good components. We got a bean can, we got a shotgun trap. I mean, usually you can get a little bit more lucky. I would say this is one of the more unlucky runs, but I've seen some really good components come out of this run, and hopefully this video helps you guys. And um, thanks, everybody. Uh, drop a like, subscribe if you would, and I'll try to come out with another video if I uh, if, uh, get enough views. So thanks, guys, and uh, appreciate you, and check out some of the other videos on the channel. See you next time.